Hey guys, it's Drakbolt again. Just wanted to give you a couple more updates on the server. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you the updates to the rail system. Uh, many of you may know already that the 1.5 patch actually came out with detector and booster rails, which is really nice. You don't have to use any more of the goofy, um, you know, the, the goofy hacked up booster rail, you know, cheats effectively, where you you have another cart that winds up or something or goes back and forth. And, sits next to the main rail path and boosts other carts that go by it. Uh, now we actually have detector rails which uh, detect when a cart passes over them and then power other things next to them kind of like switches and anything else which uh, in this case will you know uh, once a rail cart actually goes over here then it'll power up the booster and then we'll get fired forward. So this also helps you kind of make one-way cart systems because if if these booster rails stay off then they act as brakes. So I'm going to go to my public cart storage here, grab a cart. Anyone can come over here and just grab one of these. It's, it, it's always appreciated, of course, if you return them after you're done using them. I'm going to start going in the old direction. We're just going to head this way. Okay, it might help if I gave myself more of a boost, but I'm almost there. And we're off. Okay, so here's how it works, basically. Um, oh, man, I hope I didn't leave a there might be another cart sitting on the other side of the track that will stop me, but we'll, we'll find out. But anyway, um, you can see these de detector rails are really handy. You don't have to use any more redstone torches or anything else to enable things. Um, actually, as we're passing by, you're going to see the new carryall that the Slow Kiwi put up coming to view there. It's a nice picture of it. Now, um, this is this is Frontliner's domain. This, this rail system or originally connected my... Sandcastle over to his places. Ah, oh, there's that cart. Dang thing. Okay. All right. Get, okay, let's just start this over, shall we? All right. Cart number one. Cart number two. Here we go. Uh, I'm just going to go up here. Push it up there. Climb in. Here we go. All right. Moving on up. So this is Frontliner's area. Hopefully he comes back. But, of course, I'm not going to beat that horse to death. Um... Uh, so here we go, going up the the uh, escalator portion of the roller coaster. There's the carry all again in the background. Looks very good, like it a lot. Basically, the first portion of the Slow Kiwi's Palace is is effectively done with that step. So <laughs> you know, one first first portion out of another hundred or however many he's going to make. Here's the drop for the roller coaster. We. Um, so everything that heads in this direction now is new stuff that I added recently. And there's actually there are actually so many detector and booster uh, rails here, you could just send a single cart down on this without even having anybody in it for weight, and it would still go all the way around, uh, assuming somebody was over there to have the calculations done on those portions of the server. Anyway, here is the outpost that Xcalibration has recently completed with the giant radar dish on the top. That that little uh, redstone torch on the top can actually be enabled or disabled through controls inside the building. Another very cool building, just as cool as the war facility. I might take you through a little guided tour of that inside at some point. And we are proceeding over here along my rail system, which goes over here to his mine. Now we're about to go up the ascension tracks. This is kind of a fun little place. I like this. Yeah, I know the camera's going haywire for you, but this is the best it can do to, to track how many times we're spinning upward and around. And here we have stopped. These are the sightseeing controls. I'm going to get out. And this is my little um, my little glass platform to help you just kind of look around and, and see what's being built. Um, these rail systems, you know, I'm not married to them. If, if we need to move these to make room for more buildings or anything else that Excalibration or anybody else wants to do, then we will do so. We're just going to keep recreating them as we need them to, to uh, come into play. So the uh, sightseeing controls here, if I hit that, I can turn these booster rails back on, but I'm going to keep them off and just kind of shove this thing over because I do want the next people who come through there to break against those uh, unpowered booster rails. So I'm just going to keep going around. This will take me all the way back to my sand castle, at which point I will climb up into the skyway and get another bird's eye view and especially a side view of the carryall because it looks pretty good. Uh, again, there's my ornithopter flying around in the background. Uh, there are a couple of cows in the middle of the desert because those are very plentiful on Doom. Uh, I'm going to beat up this cart. 
and drop it. All right, fine. So I'm going to put the other one back in the box. And let's go up and take a look at the carryall. Okay, so here is the carryall. And you can see it's, uh, it's nicely in view here. I'm going to keep moving up closer and closer to it because the, the side view is probably what reminds me the most of the, uh, of the Dune 2 graphics and everything for the carryall. Again, this is all mostly trying to be pixel perfect to the, the graphics that are found in the Dune 2 PC game. So, uh, personally, I like what the slow key we did here. It looks very good to me. This side view, this looks really good. Uh, that looks that looks basically exactly like I would expect this to look. So, carry all looks very good. Looks like, uh, you know, the slow kiwi. It's, and once again, you can see the size of the foundation that he's trying to build here. Everything that's, that's outlined is all area where the palace is going to reside. You know, this entire outlined area, and this, and this used to be a mountain going probably to the top of that tower, maybe even close to the carryall. Uh, this used, used to be mountain ranges, and <laughs> he and I have both cleared this out. He's done most of the work, obviously, but um, I've helped him with some detonations and things. But you can see he has some grand plans. He is uh, slowly cutting everything down to sea level, and he's going to be filling everything in and then, and then working on the palace, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, and once again, real quick, just wanted to let everybody know that, you know, I, I do definitely want more people to be hitting this server. I'd love for more players to come in. All you really need, need to do is go to the forums and just, just sign up there, drop your name down, and just, just ask. Um, basically, you know, as long as you ask in, in any way that's even, you don't even have to ask nicely. Just say, please, add, you know, just say, add me to the whitelist, and I'll probably add you. Because I just want to see more players on the server. Obviously, if you register, then I, you know, I have the ability to, to, you know, I have more awareness, more information about you at least. So, I mean, if you come in and grief or something like that, then, then, uh, you know, maybe I can give you a little grief back. But in general, I would like to see more people on here, but I still want to keep the whitelist. So, if you have any interest at all in this server, then please do come to the forums and ask to be whitelisted. I will most likely immediately give you that privilege and we'll welcome you in here. Um, keep in mind also, if I didn't mention it in this video, uh, a previous video that I put out showed that uh, that I wanted to issue a challenge for everybody, which is kind of like my own system of achievements that I'm going to be using. And the first challenge is to try and find my home. So the sandcastle is not my home, that's sort of a public place, public face of it, but my home is uh, was shown in the other video and it is in this world somewhere it's not buried uh you know it's 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 visible basically but it's not you know it's not covered up i mean i'll say the entrance is visible at least so you know if you keep looking around you will find it but i will be surprised if anyone finds it very quickly uh, our world's getting pretty big here but i'd like to issue other challenges later you know if if notch actually adds custom um, if, if Notch actually brings in custom support for your own achievements or anything like that, then I'll definitely start adding some of my own. But for the most part, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, ask you guys to try and do a couple of things, like you find this or that secret passage, uh, you know, find find and leave a note on all the aircraft in the game or something like that. So I, I think it'll be fun. But again, I think we need more players in here in the first place to uh, get that visibility working again. Okay, can I, can I do it successfully? All right, yeah, the world is getting pretty large and sometimes, depending on how long it's been running and whatever else is going on, it can take a while to populate all these blocks and everything. So, um, but again, please come in here and, uh, and join us anytime you get a chance. So again, this is Dragbolt. Thanks for watching and good night.